everybody welcome back to my channel it's me Zoe and yeah in today's video as you saw from the title it is my March perfume tray so I picked out fragrances that are gonna match with uh, my Beth Monarchs project used up which will be linked at the end of the video in like the, the ending screen thing so yeah let's get started so first we'll recap um, my fragrances from last month and then we'll go into what I'm adding so the first fragrance that I used here my mouth. Okay. The first fragrance I used last month was Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. Again, I feel like the lighting is just so weird today. It's really bright outside because <laughs> I got off of work early because um, I'm closing later. Um, but yeah, anyways, as you can see, I have a little bit of a dent there. I did use this um, probably about five times this month. Well, maybe like four. Probably used four times this month. So I used it a few times with my sparkling creme. Um, also, I think I used it uh, with my Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow last month. So yeah, you know, good scent. I do like it. Um, the packaging is a little creepy, but you know, uh, I didn't know that when I bought it. <laughs> it's kind of weird to have like a little head, you know, looking at you. But anyways, next, which I loved this perfume. This is Floral Mar- come on. Floral Marshmallow, no. Floral Marshmallow from Dossier. Uh, if you see my here, my little baby dent. Um, yeah, I do love the scent. I think I wore it probably six times, so, um, not a bunch, but, um, you do have to spray a lot. Or, sorry, you don't have to spray a lot, because it is a very strong scent. I usually spray only, like, four sprays, um, and it lasts a good eight hours, because I can still smell it by the time I'm done with work. Anyways, the notes are marshmallow, neroli, bergamot for top notes, middle notes of orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, and orris, and base notes of amber, vanilla, and musk. So when, when I first got this, you could definitely smell the neroli, the bergamot, uh, the jasmine. Very, it was very bright, very floral, almost headachey. But now that it's um, gotten that color, <laughs> it is definitely a lot sweeter, a lot smoother. And although it smells a little jasmine when you still when you smell it first, it definitely dries down very sweet and pretty and marshmallowy with a hint of that jasmine. So it's a beautiful, beautiful scent, and I really, really love it. Next scent I used this month was uh, Vanilla Potion. I don't know what brand this is. Um, this is from TJ Maxx, as you know. This went very viral. I wish they wouldn't put the sticker there. Like, couldn't they put it on the bottom so that doesn't show through? That's annoying. But anyways, this is Vanilla Potion. I'm not really sure, again, what the brand is called, but I'm sure somebody knows. So if you know, leave it down in the comments. So yeah, it smells really pretty. It is a, it is a almost... Uh, a clean version of vanilla. It's not a super sweet or warm vanilla. It's definitely a clean, uh, not even Madagascar vanilla. It's just like a, it's just like a clean vanilla, I guess. You know what I mean? It's hard to explain, but it is really a really nice fragrance. Um, can't remember what I wore it with, but I wore it about three times. You can see my little little dent there. So I do like this, and I'm not regret I'm not regretting picking it up at all. Although I wish I could find that praline and pistachio, po uh, that potion perfume from that same brand because that sounds like such an amazing scent but unfortunately I've gone probably four times to TJ Maxx in the past month um and couldn't find it but you know it's not my fault so yes okay next is Woody Raspberry from Dossier uh the top notes are raspberry neroli and lemon middle notes of jasmine orange blossom and gardenia base notes of patchouli amber and honey as you can see I have a very small small dent there I think I wore this three times this one, you can definitely smell it. You definitely get that patchouli and the gardenia and the roly. So it is quite sharp when you first spray it, but it dries down to, again, more of a woody raspberry floral scent. It smells really good paired with vanillas or um, softer scents. So I really do enjoy this one, although I think it needs to sit and macerate a little more so that, you know, it can get a little sweeter. But it does dry down sweeter than it smells right off the bat. Okay. One perfume I used a lot. This is Citron and Glacé from Le Gourmand Beauty. Um, this came in their little sampler set. I literally love this. Uh, I smell their pistachio brulee one, and this is so much better. It is like a sweet candied orange and lemon scent. It is so beautiful, and it smells amazing with Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. Yeah, honestly, if I saw this in a full size, I would pick it up because it is amazing. So, yeah, that was probably my favorite, per favorite perfume I used this month or last sorry last month um because it was just so pretty this like stupid hair does not want to you know <sighs> sometimes you know hair bothers me 
never wants to cooperate. Okay, next is, this is my travel vial of By the Fire, seriously, what is the lighting going? Travel vial of By the Fireplace by Replica. I don't know if you can see, but it is a little over halfway gone, which is very nice because I didn't feel like I used a bunch this month, but maybe I used it like eight times, but oh my goodness, it smells so good. And I only use two to three sprays for this because it is extremely strong. This smells amazing. It's just a woodsy, campfire, smoky, toasty vanilla and like and woodsiness. It is so pretty. So I'm so happy to have this and I'm happy to have the full size as well because this was just like that trial tester that they give you in those gift sets. But yeah, I am very thankful for this because I love it so much. And last but not least, this is uh, Tom Ford's Black Orchid, my little trial size of it. Um, this is really strong, honestly. It is extremely strong. Um, and I do enjoy the scent a lot on my skin. It's very, it definitely dries down sweeter and less, um, less strong, but man, is this thing strong. I think I used like one spray and it was still really strong. So I, although I do enjoy the scent, I only use this once just cause I wasn't, uh, wanting something this strong, like all the entire month. So um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'll use this more in like the deep winter, um, in the fall, cause it's definitely more than that, more than like a late winter, um, scent, but I do enjoy it. It's just really, really strong. Okay. So for scents I'm rolling over, I am rolling over Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday cause I still have my sparkling creme perfume or fragrance mist in my project. I'm also rolling over Woody Raspberry, um, cause I didn't use that much. And then I have three perfumes that I'm adding in that I did not um, have it last month. So the first one is CK's or Calvin Klein's One Shock for her. Uh, let me see how full this is. Can't really tell. Okay, I got it. So it's about there. So we are almost halfway gone. Somewhere around there. And we're almost halfway gone, or we, I am almost halfway gone with this, which is very nice because it's a like 3.4 fluid ounce, which I got for like $20 because it smells really good. It's just a very large perfume. Yeah. And this is like a sweet pear fresh scent. It's really pretty and very unique. And online, I think in the notes said something about like chocolate and like caramel and stuff like Sorry. You know, uh, it's been a day. Anyways, uh, okay, so, yeah, I, it's just a sweet pear, fresh scent, I really do enjoy it, so I think it'll be good for, like, the spring season that's coming up, so, yeah, I don't know, I like it, we'll continue, I feel like this was a very interesting video, but anyways, <laughs> this is Vinny from Sully Notes, uh, when I first got this, if you saw that haul, you, you probably remember that it was definitely not as dark as this, which is good because when I first smelled it, it was like a, it was like a fresh, a super fresh vanilla with spiciness and it definitely gave me a headache and a sick stomach. Like the scent was not meshing like it should have, but now that it is, um, has macerated and it's nice and, um, the vanilla has developed and this is a 1.7 ounce, um, it is so beautiful. It is still that like spiced vanilla, but it's no longer that fresh vanilla, it's more of that sweet, creamy vanilla, so it, yeah, I like it a lot more <laughs> now than I did when it first came out, so when I first got it, so yeah, there's that. And last but certainly not least, this is also my January produce up, is the Ariana Grande's Sweet Like Candy, um, as I explained in that video, I think I'm about halfway, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm about halfway um, completed with this, and yeah, it's a really pretty raspberry, strawberry, sugary um girly scent and yeah I just want to use this up because you can see I have a backup back there so I want to get this one out so I only have one <laughs> but yeah that is everything for my perfume tray which I will lift up and show you oh okay that's balancing this to be a little tricky so there we go that's my perfume tray so only five perfumes this month usually I have a few more than that but um those are the scents I want to work on some of them I'm trying to finish some of them I just want to get some better dents in but yeah thank you guys all so much for watching and i'll see you later bye